so guys happy first sunday of this month uh, welcome back to my channel and um after all the effort to see that uh, Mazin and the can is actually free from the hands of dss everything is still failed up to now even recently the um Aloyi came out to complain that the dss still repeat the same thing and if you earlier really recall the court have sent several warnings to the dss director which is adiola jai that if he continue restricting Marzin and the can who you know lawyer access from him is likely to fail jv time and to my greatest surprise yesterday they repeated the same thing they still block access of Marzin and the can lawyer to Marzin and the can and i'll keep on repeating this thing because people may a lot of us um did not take this particular video serious of where um the opera is complaining that you know he has never set his eye on Mazin and the Kano ever since September 24, right to date. And a lot of people might take that video for a joke. And if you ask yourself, if Mazin and the Kano is still in the hands of the DSS, they should at least allow the lawyers to set their eyes on him and let them give us confirmation that yes, he's still there. But they are just blocking the, or the whole access, despite court's order to, you know, to, to allow them, the DSS is still taking more order in their own ends and um as if that is not enough um lawyer Okbara actually released a video an interview video he had with some prominent um people in his time speaking about you know a lot of things exposed a lot of things talk about ben Sayako and other um, prominent figure even our current president president bola medicine one if you look at the current administration they have promised us change I think nothing is actually you know happening nothing is happening and um probably we are still hoping for for the best and it's let's just keep hoping and i want to leave you guys with the video that video interview where i actually have because right now i think the only um accusation and the only real reason why the dss might likely to leave mazin and the Kano, according to the ipob accusation and according to what i feel is if um, um they can actually drop that quest for piafra nation i think the ipob is kind of sensible for making that kind of statement because they have tried everything there is nothing that nam they can have not done no proof that nam they can have not submit nam they can have submitted almost all the proof but everything is going wayward you understand even when um nam they can ask ben Tanyaku to you know drop um to um recuse herself from his case after like few days later the federal high court actually sent her back stating that she's the one they appointed for that case so the the actual the actual the everything just looked like a game and it's not see they are playing game with namazin and the Kano and his lega team so let us kindly hear from what lawyer actually state you understand despite all tinubu's order um court order release Mazin and Mikano, release him unconditionally, release him this even a kind of token come out stating that some people who even committed worse than Nam the Kano have been pardoned and reintegrated into the society that it is they have released them and even bring them back into the society and give give them work. But what is Mazin and Mikano own different? Well that has been one of the questions I would like you guys to try to answer in the comment section and also without wasting much of the time please take your time and listen to what Lawyer Opera actually come to state in the recent video. So watch the video and know what is actually going on recently with Mazin and the Kano in the hands of the DSS. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead. Bye. Related to the it, it, yeah, it, 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 it's related, but to the cabinet, but this time we will not be a different angle, yes. angle to that. Maybe the, maybe the, the, the diversity, the issue of the diversity. Particularly the as it concerns the southeast region, yes. uh, because uh, someone has been appointed, and many people are actually saying, is this a compensation, you know, for the southeast region, talking about Bianca Ojugu, and uh, that is one of the angles we will be looking at uh, as we turn to the lawyer who is a human rights lawyer in the house now maxwell or para we will be looking at uh, sustainability measures uh, in that region that the president has actually uh, started with the appointment of bianca Ujuko, as fun. people are saying so welcome maxwell max how's it going <laughs> been, been, been a little while with well, thank god uh, nice work mm. thank god too mm. okay first of all let's get your overall view regarding the reshuffle of the president's cabinet which broke last week 
we are still where we are. I just like, uh, how do my father normally put it? You sell dog and you go and buy monkey. Are they not the same thing? There is no difference between uh, six and a half dozen. So I don't see any effect uh, in the reshuffling because uh, we are talking about those that have failed. The few months of this government is total failure by my own assessment and by assessment of majority of Nigerians. Now, the president said that he's going to assess them by their um, uh, input in his cabinet. So you remove, uh, I think, uh, what's the name, uh, humanitarian affairs, who, are, who was on suspension and finally removed. Then Kennedy Hanele, uh, Minister for Education, of course, is supposed to go under some other person. And now you now brought in some other persons. And um, uh, generally, I don't see anything because it must start from the top their policies. Apart from the ministers, those you appointed, they are, if you I should ask me, they are OES member. They, are, they cannot look at your face and tell you, Mr. President, you are not doing well. Mr. President, this your policy cannot fly. Because they are your agent. They need, they need that job. Unlike somebody like Max Solop, I don't need that job. I will tell you, Mr. President, from the first day you are inaugurated, till as I'm talking to you, the, all your policies, administration, is totally against the people that we are governed. Now, I was, uh, somebody said that uh, now that you have appointed uh, the wife of Ikemba Ujuku, that is a strategic to get the people of Southeast. I don't know who is advising you. If you cannot take advice of, advice of someone like uh, Obiozo, Late, the former president of Ohaneze. You cannot take the uh, advice of uh, Ezife, late. You cannot take advice, uh, advice of uh, someone like Iwayan. You cannot take advice of uh, someone like uh, Obonion. I can mention Mbazuli Kamechi. Those that have seen it all. What was the advice that they gave? That the you should release Nandekalo, the restructure Nigeria, then carry Ibos along, the people of Southeast. Carry them along. Give them that sense of belonging so that there will be peace. Now, Uncle, this is our assignment to you. Check all the whole countries that is predicated their governance on, of, on, um, on injustice and unfair treatment against some sections of that country. <clears throat> that country will never have peace. I can go on and on. Why America is succeeding today is because America believes in if you are qualified, you are qualified. As they are treating somebody from American India, they are treating African Indi uh, American like that. That's why somebody from Kenya will go to America and become the president. And you see them progressing. Yeah. So, okay, some, Max, some, so somebody agitated of marginalization. Yeah. After 50 years, you are still doing the same thing. And you feel that you have peace. It's, it's more spiritual than physical. Okay, let's go back to the cabinet, Max. Now, um, I've heard different schools of thought. They're saying that the things are changing and this whole idea of having you know, several slots per state um, isn't really that fashionable anymore. Um, that really what people want are performers. I mean, if you get 11, if you get uh, 30 Jebu people, if they're the best, you have put them there and let them do the job. So, uh, but this ethnicity, diversity continues to play a part. And that's the reason why many people seem to see the appointment of Bianca Ujuku as a masterstroke. You see, why... If you go to Dubai now, nobody talk about the president. Nobody cares. If you go to UK, nobody talk about who is the president. Nobody cares because the system is functional. Why people are talking about I mean, this issue of uh, it is my turn, it is not my turn, equitable treatment, because some persons felt that this is their, their, their father's inheritance. Leadership in this country is their father's inheritance. So that's why you will now see somebody like Buare, who's supposed to be in jail now, will rule this country for good eight years. And they will come out to tell you that I will never look for those who gave me I mean, 95%. I'll be talking about those who give me 5%. And he rubbish this country with incompetent set of people. Now, Mr. President came up again. Go to CBN. Go to NPC. 
Go to all those key, key sectors of the economy. Look at those of the, the people that are working there. Now, the people that you have been marginalized, that you failed to carry along, and people have been asking you, allow these people that have helped this country. Uh, Max, fact, there's, a pic, there's a picture up there. What do we... What do we, what do we, yes, what do that, we is the, that is the, the, the day Iwana visited Nandekal. You can see us there. And Iwana, this is in his parlor. Iwana was crying after visiting Nandekal. Thereafter, I think... Uh, crying about what? About the way Nandekal is being treated. Was, is being treated. And uh, Iwana pleaded in that uh, press interview that the president should release Nandekal. That is the only area you have please. I'm talking about the one that have seen it all. Then after how many months what happened? Few weeks after you one died. You are still holding Nandekal. And you now turn around. But somebody said that somebody said somebody now tell you that go and they appoint Bianca as a minister. That Bianca if you appoint Bianca as a minister they will peace in her. so Bianca after you are swearing in, you go to South East and address them. That now that I have been given a minister, everybody should Calm down. No, apart from really, um, you know, in weighing into the Namdekano case you talked about, but the appointment of Bianco Joko, who was a, a, a former Biafran warlord, really, you know, uh, so th don't you think that that in itself is the president trying to also carry the Southeasterners al along? So, so uh, Kennedy Hanele is not uh, from Southeast. You remove somebody from Anambra and put another person from Anambra. That with the, I think, Minister for State for Foreign Affairs or what they are giving. So that's the only thing that, the only thing that will calm the people of South East down. One is to release Nandekal, restructure this country, carry the people of South East along. Release Nandekal, negotiate with him, and allow him to continue with his agitation. If he meets the criteria of being, uh, uh, having his own uh, Biafra, so be it. Don't tell us that this country is not, negoti is not negotiable. The unity of this country is not negotiable. It's negotiable for Christ's sake. Because if things are not working the way it's supposed to be, I told you the other day I came here. I said that somebody from China has a say in this country than somebody from Southeast. Had it been that that flag, Chinese flag and the Russian flag that we are carrying in Kano, had it been that that flag we are carrying in either Enugu or Anambra or Imo, by now those that Southeast would have been turned into ashes. So the Boho went to London last week to present a paper. I need to rebuild the Republic. Had it been that somebody from Southeast went to that London to present that paper, by now they would have been picked up. So we are not being, nobody from Southeast, we have been treated as a slave in this country. And that is the essence of this agitation. He's not qualified to be the, uh, the president, he's not qualified to hold any key position. He suffered on his own, established himself, he will acquire land from their state. Go and see what is happening in Lagos. They are busy collecting the lands belonging to the people of Southeast. People will see of oh, you go to court, which court? It's not their own court. So yeah. the, what we are saying is that this particular issue can be addressed when the president calm down. The reason and they can have a discussion with him. You have been having a discussion with uh, bandits and uh, the so-called uh, repentant Boko Haram. Tell me the offense of and Kal because it's agitating for uh, self-determination, which is his own constitutional fundamental right, granted to him by the Constitution and well, the law. Well, the government's angle is not because of the agitation, because they know that uh, everyone has a right to agitate. Well, but they said the way he was going about it, like and, and then in, uh, people were being incited. But that's not even not what I'm, I'm what trying of the to one, say. What of the one, the wife of the president incited people during the election? The wife of the president, he incited people that evil should go. What of the one uh, over of Lagos? Say that Igbo should go and uh, uh, fall into lagoon. What of those that came out and said that Igbo will not vote? If you are not voting for APC, you will not vote. What happened to them? Has anybody been arrested? That now the Carlos said something. Then you now stamp that thing he said as a, you know, is a terrorist, is a, 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 a crime of a terrorism. You charge him for terrorist. His own lawful organization. That is registered in almost all the countries in America and Europe and Asia. And you now came to Nigeria, you term it a terrorist organization. Now you are now, now saying that now that IPOB is being recognized in almost all the whole countries in America and Europe. So you are now saying that America, France, Germany, they are recognizing a terrorist organization because you don't want anybody to agitate. You want to suppress anybody. 
if you talk, you kill him, suppress him, jail him in a country that is predicated on constitutional governance. It cannot work like that. Okay, let's get back to the ministerial uh, nomination of uh, Bianca Ojuko, you know, because uh, you said he took away own from Anambra and brought in another. But remember that the president took away the minister based on the KPI results that came out, which he was not even the one, uh, you know, that did the evaluation. It was the result given to him uh, with which he, he did that, meaning that if actually uh, the minister had performed, you know, above uh, board, in the uh, KPI, he wouldn't have had any reason to remove him, remove her rather. Now, still on that ministerial list, we have 48 of them, am, am I right? And we have 36 um, uh, states in this country, including FCT 37. So, apart from Southeast, that have only five, every other region have more than six, apart from Southeast. Now, check since 1999, you have been having series of President, just, okay, let's use what is going on now. The president is from where? Vice is from where? Speaker is from where? Senior president is from where? CJN is from where? Court of Appeal president is from where? National Industrial Court president is from where? Chief Judge of Federal High Court is from where? And you are saying that the people of South East belongs to this country. Are you, are you sure you know, Max, are you sure you know, it's just like what I said too. I mean, isn't it time we, st we started to... Um, be less sentimental about this diversity. About a, this no, thing. no, it's a, it, we have to apply it now. We are talking about, we are saying that the only people that are qualified to hold all this position, nobody from South is qualified. On what, on what basis? Are you saying that there's but no the chief of Nevada staff is from the South East. Huh? The chief of Nevada staff. From where? I'm, I'm talking about the key position. Yeah, number one person, South number East two people person, number three everywhere. person, number four person, number five person. The key position, we have three arms of government. The executive, the judiciary, and the parliament. We can never see anybody from South East there. Now, the point we are talking about is that when I'm not even talking about, you know, I'm in court, about lopsided appointments. Okay. I can avail that my process because I did an intensive research in that process. File it. Asking court to view whether this particular appointment, whether this particular government is in line with the Federal Character Establishment Act, an act of National Assembly that say that you should carry everybody along. Section 14 of the Constitution also say that you should carry everybody along. And you are not doing all these things. You are telling me that, uh, yes, now that you have re removed uh, Kennedy Hanele and you are now brought in uh, Yanko Ojuku, that the people of South East will jubilate. Are you talking to idiots? Look at the people that you are talking about. Check, let me start with the sports. In football, the people that have made Nigeria proud are the people of South East. In commerce, in aviation industry, name it. In academics, they are from people of Southeast, but when it comes to power, they are not qualified, and we want them to be happy. Listen, let me tell you, like today, that is Monday, go to Southeast. And my annoyance is that these things are avoidable for Christ's sake. They won at Atan Niza. They listen and they call. Let us start addressing this issue. This early morning, somebody sent me a clip, uh, something they, they posted. That they said from, I think they said next week or the next two weeks, that there will be not like federal courts in the whole of Southeast. What do I mean by federal courts? Federal courts, National Industrial Court is a federal court. Federal High Court is a federal court. Court of Appeal is a federal court. Now, the people that, the judges that are there, most of them are not Igbos. Majority of them are not Igbos. How should you risk somebody to go and they preside in the Court of Appeal over the judicial, judicial Division, Oka Judicial Division, Enugu Judicial Division? How can you appoint somebody to go and preside in federal high court in the southeast, national industrial court in the southeast? And we are not even thinking about all this. And the judges are not even thinking about, no, we cannot do it. But it's a good allow you to continue just a second, just to let you know that it's um, gone past the second hour on Kakaki, the African voice this Monday. Around this time, we usually bring you Kakaki socials. We will still bring it to you, but that will be just a little later in the program. Okay, Max? So, so, so the point we are talking about is that when there is a problem, look for a solution. Personally, somebody like us, we are not even, you know, I'm defending Nandikala, the Kalan, one of his wires. So when they see they were, so you people are not doing what you're supposed to do, you know, the person that the person that is calling you, you don't even know him. No, but He's Maxwell, using a hiding number to call you. Maxwell, I don't say you don't even know what you're talking about, court. The only thing that is that you went to court and you were unable to bring Nan the Kalan out. No, They're but, not even safe. Okay, Maxwell, uh, let me ask you this, because from what you're saying, I've also heard IPOB uh, many times deny, you know, um, 
allegations of being involved in some of the killings that happened in the southeast and some of the you know um the, the ills that we see in the society even the sit at home in question ipo has also uh, uh, claimed that he, he, he has not asked anybody to sit at home I don't know, get my point. Hmm. So the point I'm making is that from what you're saying, it will look as if um, what you're actually trying to say is that it's because Namdi is being held. Yes. That is why, you know, the ills in the society in the Southeast has escalated. Does it have anything to do with him, do if know, that is what you're saying? Do you know why? Nande Kalo, IPOB is his initiative. He established it, he organized it. Now, when you now kidnapped him or abducted him, and unlawfully, because the Supreme Court have said that he was unlawfully brought into this country. And you kept him incommunicado. Everybody on his own. This one we kill, you said at IPOB. This one we maim, you said at IPOB. Everybody on his own. That's why I ask you the question who is IPOB? The IPOB you know is Nandekalu. So Nandekalu, if Nandekalu is out, he will know who is who. Simon Epa will talk his own, Emma Powerful will talk his own, this one will talk his own, this one. Who is, I, who is IPOB that you are even uh, 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 talking to? Nah, 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 Simon is in Finland. Emma Powerful, I don't know where he's operating from. Another person is operating from somewhere. Issuing threats, issuing, the, just like the, the one somebody told me. I don't even know where that one is coming from. So the, 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 the easiest way to do is the one that you know. Nah, the color. Then tell Attorney General, as he discontinued the, the charges against uh, the president of uh, uh, Yeti, Ala uh, Kato, discontinued that of uh, Shoure, they are all terrorism. They said, tell them to discontinue this of, that of Nandekalu. And uh, allow Nandekalu to agitate. It is his right. I told you, yeah, the other day. You see, that's where the, the problem is, it, really. It, the guarantee, you know, that there will not be problems, even if Namdekal is... It, because if you're saying, allow him to agitate, it, it, and he, he goes about it the way he used to, it, like, it, uh, you know, uh, the government ha, it, have actually feared, it, it, that, that may also uh, create more it, problems, it, don't it, you think? Uncle, let me tell you. There are some things that... You asked me the other day whether they are talking about uh, condition, you know, giving him Namdekal. I told you one question. I say, if you give Namdekal a condition that he feel after meeting up that condition he will still live like a human being so be it but when you give him condition and you are removing that that made him a human being he will tell you no what is that that made you a human being that thing that makes you a human being is your ability to exercise your fundamental right and when somebody said now i'm going to employ you here i'll be paying you five hundred thousand dollars every month but you will not talk you will not move out. You say, do away with your job. When somebody said, I'm going to release you, but I will cut one of your hands. Say no. The, right, the, 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 the agitation for, for, uh, for self-determination is a fundamental right. And if you people fail to understand this, I can agitate that I need the Republic of Maxwell. Yeah. It is my right. Anybody can agitate. I don't even need people, crowd to follow me. It is when you now feel that you have gotten the necessary this thing, the necessary um, uh, um, um, meet the necessary qualities, then so be it. It is now left for the president who believes in democracy, who believes in government of, of the people by the people to apply your initiative. What is the initiative? Release the person. Start addressing all those issues that gave rise to this ag agitation. It has been there. Uh -huh. Wazirika was agitating. During Obasanjo, a lot of people were agitating. So now that you have arrested, you come down with Wazrike that time, Nandekalo came up. Now that you have arrested Nandekalo, someone is there. I think this data from Ned Nwoko was telling you that even if you arrest um, Simon Eba today, another Simon Eba will come out. So oh. the issue there is that address all those issues. Right. So for you, it's, for, for, for you, it's not about, it's not about ministerial nomination. appointment. No, 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 no. That, that one okay. is, uh, that, that Mark, one is, Mark, we, is a complete distraction. Oh, oh, not, that one should not should, even come. come in. Okay, okay. All after right. turning in now, uh, let Bianca come and address the Igbos in Enugu. All right. All right. We, 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 of course, we'll be keeping our, <laughs> but, but our, I'm, our I'm, I'm sure the Igbos will also listen to <laughs> Bianca because no, she also, we our time is totally up on this. 30 seconds. See, let me tell you. Eh? Any, if you watch when Nandekalo started, 
People are saying, the people are calling it their fraud. I'm talking about the egos. But I'm telling you, if not 98, 97% people of Southeast, the egos are within that Nekalo. Um, All right, that was but, 45 but, seconds. Yes. You said 30, you took 45. <laughs> but I do know that if Bianca um, talks, really, they with, will also listen. <laughs> we've been speaking with Maxwell of Parab, human rights lawyer, and we've been looking, well, we did start looking at the appointment of Bianca uh, Ujuku um, in President Tinubu's um, cabinet, but of course we digressed into other issues.